The fifth experiment in the Cymatics music video is the Rubens Tube. So the Rubens Tube is my personal favorite experiment. Okay, just to tell us how it works. Okay, so we've got our propane. It's gonna flow in here. There's a line of holes here. One end is blocked off, the other end has a piece of latex on it. And we're gonna play sound very loudly onto the latex. It's gonna form standing waves of gas and it's gonna come out the holes at different heights depending on the frequency of the waves. That's the plan. There you go. Good. Oh, that's good, that's good. That's a nice, safe play. It looks like a graphic equalizer just made out of fire, which is really visually exciting. It looks like a gothic organ or something like that. So a lot of the testing with the Rubens Tube had to do with finding out what waveforms form the most pleasant looking standing waves and then how we could use that to create a piece of music. To complicate things, I wanted to shoot in slow motion, which meant that we would have to take the notes that we'd figured out and play them four times as fast to keep them in sync with the music. And just to make it look even cooler, we shot it at higher volume so that more fire was coming out. So later in the video, we wanted to hit the Rubens tube with the Tesla coil. We talked it over with the Tesla coil engineers and they assured us that as long as the Rubens tube was already lit, it would be okay. Even though it looks like something that in the movies you fire lightning at a gas tank and it explodes and kills everybody. We were pretty nervous about turning that thing on, but true to Nigel's abilities, it was built perfectly and never a single problem with the Rubens tube.